Mm -hmm. My shadow's in it. What are we gonna do? Welcome to Adventure Dad. Today we're coming to you from the camp in Bend, Oregon. This is a little RV park just right in Bend. Uh, we originally had reserved a spot at the back for our RV, but somebody didn't get it done, so I called them last minute and said, Hey, do you have any of those campers available? Okay, this is going to be a quick one. You can hear the CNC and the dust collector running in the background. I'm designing and cutting cabinets. Essentially, I backed myself into a corner. This was going to be a detailed step-by-step -step trailer build. Then I rented out the other trailer, and we need this one. <sighs> Okay, so, well, I don't know, it's Wednesday afternoon. Um, you know, I've been building this trailer. I had every intention of getting it done so my wife and I could take it on Saturday, well, leave Friday. Um, you know, I know I can do all this stuff relatively quickly, but I'm also trying to develop some, you know, develop some products, make sure all this stuff works right, make sure it's repeatable, make sure my CNC design is real nice and uh, I found myself just hacking and cutting and making stuff work and that's not what this process is all about this trailer is supposed to be about you know making sure my designs are right and they're repeatable and so you know for me to just be pulling out my router and cutting off a corner here and shaving a little bit there and adding a screw it's not what I wanted to be doing right now and that's not what what this process deserves so um, I just pulled the plug now, I didn't pull the plug on the trip. 20 years ago, I pulled the plug on the honeymoon because, well, because I'm a workaholic and I love work, which isn't bad. But 20 years ago, when we got married, I pulled the plug on the honeymoon because I wanted to get back to work on Monday. I'm an idiot. But this time, I, I didn't. So this is going to be our first, this is going to be actually our honeymoon, like our first trip together, just the two of us since March of 2005. Um, so her first big trip, even though it's just to Oregon, so we're crossing state lines woo, for three days, but, um, you know, I, I didn't want us to show up late with a half done trailer. You know, I still have to get bike serviced. I mean, there's a ton of stuff that still has to happen. So anyway, my boy showed up this afternoon after school and I realized that it was three 30 and I just said, that's it. We're done. So we've been planning on taking the RV or the trailer to a place in Bend called The Camp. Don't know anything about The Camp, uh, but I did know that they had some old RVs that they rented out. So I just called them and said, hey, uh, can you help me out? So it's actually not that much more to leave our little RV here and uh, just drive over there at 70 miles an hour and stay. So I think it's, it's gosh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Four nights so it's an extra thirty dollars a night to actually stay in one of their rvs over renting this camp spot i'm in so that's what we did so unfortunately this trailer is not going to be done this week but that is for the best you know as it was i was just skipping through stuff and i was gonna have to come back and you know it's just not the right way to get stuff done so i will also report on the camp it looks really cool uh, on burnside in bend oregon we're gonna do some riding in the desert maybe some skiing I have to get our skis ready. Actually, we decided to rent skis so I don't have to wax and sharpen. So anyway, uh, continue to follow along. This video is much ado about nothing, but I made myself, uh, as I would like, as I would say, an arbitrary and capricious deadline. And it was just, it's just too much. It's just wiping me out. I'm no longer 25. Yeah, I'm, I'm 45. We're moving on. Audible has been called. Do you have any of those campers available? This one right here, actually they had several, but they said if, since I'm six six foot tall or over six foot tall, this is the one. Uh, this is a little resort Airstream. There's a quick clip inside. It's awesome. Really, really a cool spot. This is our little Airstream for the last couple of days. You'll have to excuse the towels. We're moving out. There's just the two of us in here for a couple days. Tons of fun. This is a great little Airstream redone here at the camp in Bend. To be honest, this wasn't much more than our spot we reserved, but then our RV didn't get done. So we decided to do the whole Airstream. 
came to Bend to ride mountain bikes, but as you can see, I ain't got hurt. That was the first day. It was really soft and she fell, so she's out. So we just kind of hung out around Bend. So here's the camp. Here's our little RV that they restored. These are semi-permanent, it looks like. Looks like you could take it off and move on down the road if you needed to. There's another one of the RVs they have available. We didn't go inside any of the other little office. This is cool. They have the head over heels hair salon is right in here. That's another old model. Been totally restored to a polished, polished shine. So that is a hair salon right there. And then they have all these other ones. And then at the very back here in the sun is where you can park your own RV. But this is pretty cool. So here's the, here's the cornhole. And look at this, they got double barbecues, propane, the heaters are going, the fire has been going the entire time. And this is just a cool, cool spot. Now, as you can hear, the road noise is a little bit loud. It does back up to the road, but that didn't bother us at all. I mean, our trailer's right up against the road. We didn't notice that at all. It was almost like white noise if you're from the Midwest and used to a fan. So, you know, people brought their sports mobiles. There's been a ton of cool campers through here. Here's a couple of the other trailers they have available. Let me tell you, this was a great way to spend a couple of days in Bend. I mean, we were gonna tow our trailer over here and do everything. But just to come over here and have this as a base camp, got to watch some cable TV, which I usually don't watch any television. So got to watch some TV and hang out. Since Ryan was hurt and everything, you know, we didn't ride a whole lot. Here are the restrooms. Now, this works. It could have been done a little bit better. Uh, laundry's pretty nice. They have good hot water. And so you get the uh, fire crew restrooms. No, you can't know the code. And then, so just a little fire crew restroom, but it works well, hot running water, well, pretty nice. Gets a little crowded for two, but they've always been clean. Never had any issues here. So there you are, there's the camp in Bend, Oregon. You got your travel trailer and you're out moving around. I recommend checking it out.